365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've got mail from God written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is August 1st, 2022. And the title of our devotional is The God Who Provides. And Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide. Genesis chapter 22, verse 13. The Lord will provide is one of the best known names of God. And it was the prophet Abraham who gave him this name. To understand how important divine provision is in your life and mine. We must review the circumstances that led this man of God to put his name on the table. The event that motivated him is by itself one of the most striking in the scriptures. God called Abraham to leave his land, leave his family, and go out to a place that only God knew. When he began to seek the destination that God traced for him, it carried with it a promise. God will be by his side throughout the whole journey. He would bless him and make him a great nation, from which a blessing would arise from all the families of the earth. Every experience, every lesson along the way was intended to develop his character to make him the person God wanted him to become. It's a story filled with triumphs and failures, truth and lies, joys and sorrows, victories and defeats, promises, fulfillment. The greatest of all the divine promises came through before his eyes, against all odds. A child was born at the most unlikely time. The birth of his son was the basis of God's promise. Then, when it seemed that everything was said and done, the same God who had made him laugh when he told him that he would give him an impossible son presented himself before him with a baffling order that must have produced in him the most unspeakable anguish of his life. He asked him to sacrifice his son, his only son, the son of promise Isaac. This was the final test. His whole life and all the events of life happened with one purpose, to prepare him for that pivotal moment. Without any delay, the old man decided to obey, and when his son was born on the altar, he had his hand held high to plunge a knife and carry out God's command. A heavenly messenger stopped him, saying that God was satisfied with his demonstration of his obedience. Then a ram that was caught in a bramble took Isaac's place, and it was at that time that Abraham gave that place of deliverance the name, the Lord will provide. God provides. He will take care of our needs and provide for us. He is able to continue providing just as he did for Abraham. Amen.